Hello viewers, hope you are doing well. I am Ravi Fani Kumar, having 9 years of experience in SharePoint and Office 365. Very much interested to share knowledge to everyone. I gathered interview questions attended recently. Hope this will help you all. This is our part 1 SharePoint online interview question. So let's start our questions. Process you follow to create a new site in SharePoint online. So interview would like to understand what is the process we are following to create a new SharePoint site. So like we there are multiple ways to create a new SharePoint site. We can create via admin portal if self site creation is enabled. So end user itself they can create their own site. While creating teams also we can create a new SharePoint site and the other options we are having if you create any planner or Microsoft 365 group and if we create any Yammer so there are multiple options out there so we need to explain them clearly so that uh, they can understand we know what are the options are available in Office 365 in SharePoint online. The second question, what is the maximum storage limit for each site collection in SharePoint online? So this is the default answer like uh, we know everyone it's a uh, 25 terabyte. So third question, what are the different type of licenses we are having in Office 365? So here, Intro would like to understand whether we know the licensing concept or not. So in our Office 365, most of the organizations are using Office 365 E1, E3 and E5. So we need to understand what is the main difference between those three licenses. So the next question, what is the difference between the modern team site and communication sites? So in modern team sites, it's a grouping concept. So once we create a modern team site, by default, it will create as a private group team site. So it is connected to an Office 365 group. In communication site, there is no such concept. In modern team site, once the site is created, by default, it is external enabled. In communication site, it is disabled, but still we can enable using uh, admin center. And once we created a modern team site, in the home page we can able to see the news web part and document library web part and the office recent activities web part all these web parts are available in the communication site we can able to see the hero web part highlighted web part and events web part is available in communication site and also there are some options are there when we visited the site assets we can able to see the site site pages having more number of content types in modern sites but in communication sites we we are having very less options so these are the main differences between both of them uh, so you can check more options are also available we'll move to the next question so difference between the contribute and edit permissions so most of the interview would like to ask these permissions related concepts so when it comes to the contribute and edit will people will get confused uh, they will tell uh, vice versa so mainly the contribute and edit the main difference is in edit permissions we are having the high privilege so the list settings is enabled for edit uh, edit permissions so meaning edit user whoever having edit access they can able to delete the list and they can remove any column or add any column they can delete views remaining all the permissions having both are having same sixth question list down the web parts available in modern sites so we have to remember at least a few web parts when interviewer asked this question so we can remember few web parts like text web part image web part embedded web part hero web part highlighted content web part list web part document library web part image gallery web part news web part office 365 video web part people web part quick links web part stream web part sites yammer so we need to remember these web parts so that interviewer will feel happy when we are explaining them more and make sure that what is is a use of each web part we need to understand well and the next question what is the difference between SharePoint on-prem and online so most of the organizations like clients using both SharePoint online and on-prem so when we are attending any interview we need to know the difference between both of them when it comes to the SharePoint on-prem so we need to manage and we need to install all the servers if it is a new setup we need to install and even when the while maintenance also like which it requires a lot of uh, amount is required and we need dependency on other teams like uh, uh, network team sql 
Windows team and when it comes to the SharePoint online everything is managed by Microsoft if there is any issue in SharePoint on-prem we have to fix this issue it's a nightmare when it comes to the SharePoint online we have to just relax and we have to inform to the customer we already informed to the Microsoft they are working on this issue so let's move to the next slide within how many days we can recover the deleted items from recycle bin it's 93 days so in 93 days we can recover if the end user deleted any items in the sharepoint site so how good you are in powershell scripting did you work on any automations this is one of the important question most of the interviews so like we have to explain to them what we know in powershell scripting and what are the automations we worked in with respect to powershell so we can tell some automations like exporting site owners information and gathering the file storage information from across the tenant using powershell script and if you got any such requirement like creating new sites with the bulk amount of sites using powershell we can automate this concept and if there is any deletion request came also we can automate using powershell there are so many automations are there with respect to powershell so before for interview please prepare this question which is very important so when we move to the next question how you will enable external sharing because the previous question we discussed about the powershell script so interviewer definitely the next question they might ask can you please tell some comment how you will enable how you will enable scripting how you enable external uh, content uh, sharing all those stuff so by default like uh, how we will enable external sharing so we can enable external sharing either by admin center or using powershell so we need to remember those comments what are the comments we will use for enable external sharing so hope this video will helpful to everyone to attend interview before attending interview so please prepare these questions which will helpful for your career to get a good opportunity in new organization if you like this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you all